guys, so this week's topic is homophobia and bullying, and um, it is very early Monday morning, and I'm super tired because I spent the weekend partying and barely sleeping. It's very busy. Had a great time. But anyway, so I've dealt with my own fair share of homophobia and bullying from both my peers and family, you know, and just other people in general. Um, typically... I don't give a crap what people I don't know say to me or think of me because um, they don't directly affect my life. So why should I care what some stranger on the street thinks of me? Um, you know, but that's just how it affects me. Um, I had a best friend who, um, she used to bully me and um, constantly, always putting me down for my transition and Tell me how I should be and judging me constantly and uh, it really hurt. I uh, yeah, that was not fun times. Um, it really, I think it's worse when it comes from your family really because like my grandmother doesn't like that I'm trans. I mean when I came out to her, I came out to her uh, I think it was last year coming out day, national coming out day. Yeah, because I, I can't, think I came out to my brother two years ago on national coming out day. And um, she was okay with it. She was like, you know, asking me questions and wanting to know stuff. And then right before we got off the phone, she's like, so do you like girls or boys? And I'm like, boys. And she's like, so you're gay. And I'm like, well, I guess that's what that'd make me. And she's just like, you're going to hell, whatever. So I... She gets on my case a lot for how I dress and the fact that, you know, of course I wear guys' clothes and everything and she just, she's just not a fan of it. Um, other than that, um, I really don't deal with too much. I mean, most of my friends, I mean, I, I don't know, I'm kind of choosy, so most of my friends, they're just like, you know, oh, this is just who you are, so, yeah, um, bullying doesn't um, phase me, I mean, except for when it came from my best friend and I wasn't expecting it, like, um, when her mom died and she, I was on the phone with her and she's just like, so, can you wear a bra and dress like a girl, and it was just horrible, and told me not to talk about my trans stuff, which I don't talk about my trans stuff unless it's with my friends, you know, and they want to know what's going on, and I'm not a person that talks about it out in public. Um, so, when she said this, it, like, really hurt me. I mean, she's my, she was my best friend, and her mom had died, so I could respect that and accept it, but I didn't like how she'd put it. I was just, like, sitting on the phone, like, really? Really? You know? I didn't really know. Anyways. So, yeah, that's about it for me. I mean, I deal with bullying on a regular basis from my grandmother, but... Um, I love her, so I just kind of ignore it, and I deal with it. I mean, it's not like it hurt. It's not like it doesn't hurt, but, um, I know she'll come around, and, yeah. Um, other than that, um, I don't really, I don't really know of anybody who, around me who's been bullied either, but, um, if you, if anybody's being bullied, like, if, if you're being bullied, or you feel, you're feeling put down, I mean, reach out, talk to one of us on this channel, um, talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to somebody who's not, um, the aggressor. Definitely seek out help because no one should have to deal with bullying or homophobia, and when it's happening to you, you can feel very alone, and, um, it's great to be able to reach out to somebody. Anyways, till next week, guys. Later.